Hi, this is a quick video to walk you through utilizing Microsoft's PIN feature. To pin files you use frequently so you can access them quickly and easily without having to remember exactly where you stored them. This feature works with Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. I know most people use the recent area to access frequent documents, but what about those that drop off the list or those that you use every few months, say your budget? This is where the pin feature comes in handy. Also, the pin feature can be used for folders, so if you've got a project folder that you're working on all the time, you can pin that as well. So let's go ahead and get started. This is done through the Backstage, so we're going to go up to the File tab. Now while we're on the Home button, you can see we've got our recent pinned and shared with me. So if I click on my Pinned button, it's going to take me in and show me the documents that I have pinned. All I need to do is click on it from here to access it. So let's go back to our Recent. From here, if I want to add something to my pinned list, all I need to do is hover on it and click on the Push Pin icon, and this will pin it to it. So if I come down, click on the Push Pin, it'll pin it, or I can do a right click on a document and also pin it to the list. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to go back into Word and come back to kind of force a refresh on it so I can see my pinned items. So I'm going to click my arrow to go back, and I'm going to click File to come back in. We'll click on Pinned, and you'll see the documents that I've pinned. If I want to remove a document, just hover over it and click on the icon with the circle in the pin. Refresh again and you'll see it's gone. Now if I come over to my Open, you can see it lists my pinned items first and then my recents. If I come over to Folder, you'll see I've pinned some folders here. Pinning folders works exactly the same way. Hover over the folder and click on the pin and it will add it to the folders list. Refresh again. Come over to my folders and there it is. Okay, let's go back to our home. You've also got another way to get to your documents by clicking on the More Documents button. And this takes you into the open as well. I just wanted to show you that. Now, like I said, it works the exact same way if I'm working in Excel or PowerPoint. So let me go ahead and switch over to PowerPoint. Okay, now that I've got PowerPoint open, if I come over to the File tab, you can see I've got my recent and my pinned. I have nothing pinned here right now. So we're going to come back over and I'm going to go ahead and pin. Do my little bit of a refresh. Come over and see my pen and it works the same way. Excel works exactly the same way. Let me pull up Excel. I'm going to click on File, Pinned, Recent, pin this to my pen and there it is. So it's just a quick way to get to documents that you use frequently or maybe less frequently, but you still need to be able to access them without having to remember where you stored them all the time. And I know some people will increase their um, recent document list, but remember that will also affect how quickly Word opens and closes. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below, or if you have any suggestions for further videos that you would like me to do, please let me know. Thank you.